today's video is going to be a light video. We won't be digging in code or slicer settings or even blender. We're going to be talking about googly eyes. Greetings, pretty enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Soma. This is Teagal 3D. In today's episode, I'm going to show you some of my designs that I've made incorporating googly eyes. So we'll talk about a planarian, aka flatworm ornament. Uh, we'll talk about a fly guy ornament. And then we'll talk about a remix of Potent Printables Irish Pendant. This technique is not rocket science at all. Uh, you can even just glue them on prints without planning for them. Vandals all over the world are putting googly eyes on things that weren't planned for googly eyes. Me, I prefer to plan ahead. So in my designs that I am incorporating googly eyes, I tend to put in like a little recess, a little cylinder uh, to let my googly eye fit in. And that gives it a little more support and also will make sure that I consistently place it from item to item. And you can pretty much do this in any modeling program. In Blender, I'd be using the Boolean Difference tool uh, to subtract cylinders. Open SCAD, I'd be using the difference function. In Tinkercad, I'd be doing cylinder holes. With those cylinders, and this is probably the only teaching I'm doing with you today, uh, with those cylinders, I am using a 0.5 millimeter clearance around my googly eyes. So if my googly eye is uh, 10 millimeters in diameter, then the diameter of my cylinder is gonna be 11 millimeters. Now, where am I using these designs? It could be something very simple that's one color. Uh, this one was just for me. It's a planarian, AKA flatworm ornament. Um, though I did do another variation suggested by Twitter with two heads as well. Very, very simple, just this one one piece print. I mean, I get a little fancy. I put a split ring in, but you don't have to do that. Uh, and it just leaves these little indentations that I can put the googly eye in at the end. Adding in the color changes that I like so much, my next design is the storybook character Fly Guy. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's a series of children's book. It's about a boy whose best friend, a boy named Buzz, and his best friend is a fly named Fly Guy. Uh, these are books that my children were fans of, so for one of my children's uh, birthday parties, I did, uh, for favors, I gave every child uh, that came to the party a Fly Guy book, as well as a 3D printed Fly Guy with giant, giant googly eyes. Later, I was able to uh, repurpose the same design by gluing a pen back on the back, and uh, for Storybook Character Day, I uh, put my young son, dressed him up as Buzz, and then he penned a Fly Guy to him, so he had Buzz and Fly Guy. Now, adding in color changes and moving parts, we have a remix that I did of Potent Printables Iris Pendant. If you haven't seen this project, you must go check it out. I'll put the link to his video down below. Uh, but basically, he created this Iris Pendant with the uh, moving parts, yoink, yoink, and um, he has templates out there and instructions, and he's encouraging people to remix it to make it their own. Uh, so I actually collaborated with my children uh, with this. We did some sketches, and we talked about what we wanted to do. Uh, Ali from Potent Printables was, I think he was envisioning most people uh, customizing the front piece, which I did, um, but I also customized the back piece and left in those um, areas for googly eyes there. So this does print in multiple pieces. I think you have five different teeth. You have, there's an inner dial piece to help uh, with the mechanism. Uh, you have the back piece and the front piece. Uh, my back piece, I have, um, I do green and then a little bit of red uh, because I have inside a uvula. And then go back to green again. Uh, the top piece is just green with uh, the blue spots that you want. And of course the teeth I have is white. I guess you could go with a tartar yellow if you wanted to. If this is something that you are interested in doing, there is assembly and you do have to use M3 screws and Ollie's potent printable videos goes in detail on how to do that. I think the hardest part for me is just lining up the teeth and keeping them still before I, I screw it in. Believe it or not, this is today's video. I will put all of these items up on printers.org so you can print them yourselves if you want. But my main hope is that this inspires you and gives you ideas of how to incorporate googly eyes or maybe something else entirely into your designs. Thank you for watching and have a great day.